A fugitive accused of kidnapping and raping and torturing women is now off the streets, and it's all thanks to an episode of CNN's The Hunt with John Walsh. Take a good look at this screen, Paul Jackson. Uh, on the left is what he looks like now, and on the right is his mugshot from back in 1990. He just so happened to be one of John Walsh's most wanted guys, and Walsh says that Jackson and his half-brother uh, had a horrifying story. They snatched women off the streets. They kept them chained in their house. They tortured them. They raped them. They locked them in the closet. And they put them in a modern day dungeon. John Walsh also said he wasn't giving up until Jackson was off the streets. And that day has come. After 24 years, I want you to take a quick look at a clip from the hunt and uh, just a glimpse of the heinous acts that Jackson is accused of committing. <laughs> About 11.30 at night, I was working as a patrol officer on the night shift, and I received a call of a kidnapping assault that had occurred at uh, the area of 37th and Olympic here in Hillsborough. When I arrived on the scene, I saw a young lady who was covered with cuts and bleeding. She told me that she'd been kidnapped from Portland. She wasn't even sure what city she was in. She asked me several times where we were, and I had to tell her we were in the city of Hillsboro, outside of Portland. In 1990, I had just turned 17. I typically would wake up and go work the streets to get enough money to buy drugs to last me Try, I would try to get enough money to make it last all day. It was pretty early in the morning, like 2 or 3 in the morning. A little pickup truck pulled over. Before I knew what was even happening, I was in the back of the truck, chained to the bed of the truck, and with a pillowcase on my head and duct tape on my mouth. So the person behind that program, John Walsh, is with me live now on the phone. John, uh, first off, congratulations. You must be on cloud nine after this latest one. I am, Ashley. I, I don't know if your viewers know that you worked for me several years ago and did a great job, but you know that uh, these are the guys I hate the most, the guys who prey upon children, obviously, and, the, and these low lowlifes that prey upon women. So this guy was on my own personal most wanted list for 24 years. And when I couldn't catch him on AMW, I had the great fortune of doing the hunt for CNN, and we got him yesterday. So it was a great day. Well, proud to be a colleague of you now and uh, proud to be a colleague of you then. And I'm proud of the statistics that I can put up on the screen right now with just this program. Uh, you have had now 11 fugitives who've been featured on the hunt and every one of them is now off the streets. Five captured, uh, two surrendered, two of them found dead, one of them killed by authorities, and one of them believed to be dead. Did you ever think, John, that you were going to have this kind of success rate with the hunt? Well, I knew that I was hoping after retiring from AMW and taking a couple years off, I was hoping that the fans and viewers would come back, but the partnership with CNN has been great because CNN has such a great reach, so credible, and um, I, I really didn't think we'd have this much success off the, out of the gate. But, you, you know, my hat, is, my hat is off to the American public, the Canadian public, the, the Mexican public, the fans we have on our Internet page worldwide. And a, and a viewer just did the right thing, gave that tip that caught Paul Jackson after 24 years. I love your syndicated programs in Thailand also bringing in tips and bringing in killers to justice as well. John, your reach is amazing. Thank you so much, not only for doing the show, uh, but for doing this for society and then also for talking to us on a regular basis about your great work. Uh, keep it going, my friend. Keep it going. Thank you, Ashley. Good day John today. Walsh. Great day today. Uh, John